All right. Hi. Hi, everybody. Mom. Um, everyone, we, this is going to be really short and sweet since my mom's the only one who jumped on and a lot of you are repeats from the previous month. I'm just going to go over a couple things that are key and important to this group and then you'll be able to watch a recording from a previous group. So this is going to be kind of short and sweet and then Carly is actually not going to be on tonight, but she tonight in about an hour and a half is going to go live telling you guys what your focus of this week is. So with that being said, my name is Lindsay. For those of you that don't know me, um, I think you all know me, so I don't need to say anything else. If you don't know me, then you're going to know me. You're going to know me soon. Mom, if you don't know me, then we have problems. <laughs> um, okay, so the expectations of this group. Basically, I want to show you, just because this is really confusing, and I'm glad I just kind of was talking about this with my mom, um, just so that I can show you the expectations, what you're going to do every day. So this group, the expectations are not very high. We're not, I don't want you to be overwhelmed. In fact, later Carly is going to tell you to really just focus on four key components. And you're going to see if you go to the file section of this group page, that there is a lot of information in here. So this is for you to use, but it's not something that you need to dive into all of this right now. The key in the whole point of this group is that you have support as you launch your business, which is what you're doing. And a lot of times that can sound scary, but really all that means is that you're taking care of you and you're sharing on your social media, basically a journey, um, a journal of your journey and what you're doing. So in here, in this file section, it's kind of a hub for you guys to really be able to go to, but then also the, this group is for you to ask questions and Missy just chased Thor for you to ask questions and really like understand um, and be able to talk to people that are at the same level as you. So if you go in here, you're going to see there's a participant guide and you can read that. There's a consultations. When you guys are getting into conversations with people, a lot of times you're like, well, I don't know what to ask next and I don't know what to do. So a lot of times we ask a ton of questions or we give too much information. This is a really good file to look at so that you can ask them questions to really make sure that you are asking the right questions to figure out what they want. Because at the end of the day, you're not trying to sell Shakeology. At the end of the day, you're not trying to sell a workout program. At the end of the day, you're getting to know people. You're figuring out what they're needing in their life. And you're recommending based on what we have to offer something for them. And it's up to them whether they're going to invest in themselves or not. You can believe your job is to breathe that belief into them. You have to believe in the company and believe that you can help them believe that they can overcome this because that's, what's going to push them to do it. Me believing in you guys is going to make you believe in yourself more. And that's how it is with your customers. But the base, the main thing is you're, I don't want you focused on I need to sell anything. I want you focused on I need to learn about this person. So in this document, in the consultations, you can see that the very first question I always ask people is what's your current fitness routine? How often do you work out? How long and what do your workouts consist of? What do you love and why? Because just because you did 21 Day Fix Extreme or 80 Day Obsession doesn't mean anyone else is going to love it. Someone might come to you and say, oh my gosh, I saw your results for 80 day obsession. I want to do it. And if you just give them that, they may be like me who I didn't like it at all. It's just not for me. And my mom, it wasn't for her either. So I would then have this idea in my head that this is what all programs are. And this is what Beachbody is. And then I wouldn't even give anything else a chance when really there was something, if you would have just asked more questions, there was a way to set them up with what was right for them right away. If they only have 20 minutes a day, if they only have 30 minutes a day, if they like cardio, if they hate cardio, if they like dancing, if they like weights, okay? So these consultation questions are important. And if you're stuck with someone as you're talking to people, your main thing to do is just ask, if I'm stuck and I don't know what to recommend them right now, I must not have asked enough questions, right? I guess I don't know. And... I like to think of it this way sometimes. If you went shopping with your friend or your mom or your daughter or your dad or whoever, and you were trying to help them pick out an event, a dress for an event or an outfit, if they came out and they said, what do you think of this? And it was a big frilly arm thing. You're probably going to break it down and ask them, well, how do you feel? What do you like? Do you like the way that feels? Do you like the, the do you like form fitting? Do you feel comfortable in that? Do you prefer a long dress? You're going to 
if they want you to pick their outfit, you're going to ask all those questions before you find it, right? That's exactly how it is with this. You're going to ask questions. What do you dislike and why? What's worked for you in the past? What hasn't? What motivates you? Because some people are motivated by people being in their face and let's do this. We're going to do this. And others are like, I need you to give me grace and I'm really stressed and I need you to walk me through this. So you need to know what motivates someone. Um, you also need to know what their goal is and what areas they want to change. And then the biggest thing to do is then ask them, if you achieve this goal, how is that going to make you feel? Because when people can tell you how they're going to feel, it makes them think of them already achieving this. And now they want to feel that way and they want to do it even more. So these consultation questions are key. So when you're having a conversation with someone, pop in here, pull up the consultation document, go through it. Feel free to screenshot your conversations and post them in here so that we can help you. I want everyone to make sure that you do this GEMS personality test. We'll explain more about what that kind of is and means, um, but go ahead and do that if you haven't already. One thing that I really like to do um, for coaches is have you guys right away uh, look at this gopher no sheet and print it off. It's basically 100 empty squares. And when you print it off, what I like to do is every person I have a conversation with or I invite, I write their name in a square. And my goal is to fill out this whole page in one month. So that's I'm talking to 100 people in a month. Now, that's really not that hard if you're talking to five to 10 people a day. And it doesn't mean you're inviting them. I just like to know that I've had 100 connections a month because when you connect with people on Facebook, when you're talking to them in your messenger, when you're talking to them, when they're commenting on your stuff and you're taking it to a private message, um, that really makes more eyes on your page. And when Facebook sees that more you're conversating with more people, then they show your stuff to more people. So you have to also be knowing who you're talking to. And I think as a new coach, it's really hard. Tracking your business is really important. But as a new coach, it's really hard to figure out which way is the best way to track. So I like to tell everyone to use this, write in your names, and then we're going to teach you how to own a tracking system in a couple weeks. So for now, I would just go ahead and do that. If it makes more sense to you to write numbers on a notebook paper, 1 to 100, put the month at the top, write 1 to 100, then that's fine. These boxes are more visually for my brain um, than anything. So that's the file section. And there's some other things in there. For instance, if you get caught behind or if you get behind, right? Let's say that you don't check in here for a few days. Because every day there's a morning post and there's a quote and then there's an action that's going to tell you to go post something on your page or do something for your business. And if you get behind a few days, it's fine. I don't want you to stress out. And that's why these launch phase one and launch phase two files are in this um, file section. If you go click on launch phase one, let's say you have two hours tonight. And you're like, you know what, I'd rather just get ahead. Then you can come in here and you can see day one's post with the daily actions, day two's post with the daily actions, and it'll tell you everything about launch phase one. These are all of the posts that you guys are going to see from now until the end of your, until the end of this group. So let me show you here. If I go to the page, the front page of our April new coach group, and if I scroll down, Carly had the very first post today. And that post was right here. Welcome to day one, friends. We hope you don't mind that we wanted to give you one day to recover from the holiday weekend. Normally we start on a Monday. We started on Tuesday because of Easter. She gave you a quote to start your day right. She talked a little bit about what you're going to do in this group. And then she gave you an intro, a daily action to introduce yourself to the group, to share what type of flavor of Shakeology you had, to share your workout with the group, and then to follow Team Beachbody on Facebook and request to join the Beachbody Champions Facebook page. So this was day one. On the, and at night, you're also going to see a check-in. So what you want to do there is tell us something you did really great and maybe something that you need a little bit of help with. The more you guys participate in this group, the more you're going to get from it. We're here to completely give you our attention to launch your business off the ground. So tomorrow there'll be a morning post. It's not going to notify you unless you can actually, um, at the top here, you can manage notifications right here. All posts, highlights, 
a friend's post or you can turn the notifications off, whatever you want to do. But every day I would schedule in when you're going to check in here to read that post and do that daily action because it's going to walk you through setting up your business and getting it take and getting it off the ground. So launch phase one is 12 days. It's going to go 12 days from today and it's going to end a week from Saturday. You're going to have Sunday off and then launch phase two is 10 days. And then that's the end of this group. So you have 12 days of checking in Sunday, a week from this Sunday, you have a day off to catch up, take the day off, do whatever you want to do. And then 10 days from there. And then the group is done. So if I give you the actual dates of what that looks like, you are, this is you're, there's going to be a post every day till the 14th, the 15th, you will not have a post. It's a catch up day. And then you will be all in the 16th through the 25th. So this group will end before the end of April. Now I want to tell you that I don't want, I know that you guys have full lives and full-time jobs. If you can't check in here for a couple days, that's okay. That's why you can go to the file section instead of scrolling the page and you can see what the posts were that you missed and you can catch up, but just commit to catching up. And if you see the biz, the, um, what do I want to say? Cover photo at the top, your commitments to check in daily, choose to be not overwhelmed because there is a lot of information. And what I like to say is learn the first thing first and don't do the second at all until that second thing becomes the first thing. Because if you just half kind of know one and then go on to the next thing, you're going to get way down the line and be like, wait, what was that first thing I ever learned again? You are going to hear all of this stuff that you hear in this month over and over and over again. And you can do this again, like some of you have noticed because you're in this again. So lean on us, do your best, show up, ask questions. If you don't understand, just let us know, but also don't get frustrated with yourself. Don't compare yourself to anyone in this group. If someone else is hitting success club and you're not if someone else is hitting enrolling coaches and you're not, everyone starts different. So I want to tell you a little story about when I started. When I started, I was 25 weeks pregnant and I hit the ground running. I hit success club every single month and I was emerald within six months and within eight months I was diamond. And in a year I was able to go part-time. In two years I was able to reduce my hours again. And in two and a half years I was able to step away from my full-time job. That is because, now I can tell you that and everyone's like, wow, that either inspires you or it scares you and it doesn't seem relatable. But you have to understand that for seven years, every 15 weeks, I had a new group of women, 18 years and older, that looked at me as a mentor already. And I had them for 15 weeks and then they left and I got a new group. My market was so large and so warm with women that already trusted me and looked at me as a leader that my business grew fast because I already had a warm market that trusted me. The minute that I exhausted that market, I plateaued in my business, just like you do in your fitness journey. So you can't compare yourself to me because then let's talk about someone else. I can't think of a name right now. Maybe we'll go with Devin. Okay, so Devin, if you guys don't know her, she's a coach on my team. She started and she had a lot of stuff she had to get through. She had a lot of like stuff she had to come around in her head with being, um, believing in the company and believing in herself and not being negative and getting past that anxiety. She had a lot of stuff she had to overcome. So she had a really slow start and she didn't hit success club her first few months and she really struggled. But then she's going and she has this momentum and I don't but we can't compare ourselves. I mean, I do, but we can't compare ourselves to each other. And that's the point. Don't compare yourselves to each other in here. Just learn from each other. When you see someone doing great, say great job and ask what they're doing and learn from each other. The benefit of being in this new coach group is that you guys are around people that are at the same level as you. Once you're done with this, you go into our huge group that you're already a part of where all of us collaborate together. And this is a really great time for you to learn and say, Hey, this is what I'm going through. Is anyone else experiencing this? And someone else might say yes. And then you guys can, we'll give you tips and you guys can share what you guys are doing too. So that is a little bit about the group and the expectations of the group and kind of how it's going to work. So let me look at one thing real quick. Where am I at? Um, so gems, make sure that you, um, take that test and then you post in the introduction where we asked you to introduce yourself what gem you are. The reason is because 
whatever gem you are, when you read, when you do the test, it'll make sense, but it teaches you how to motivate people and how to speak to people. So my mom is an emerald. She, that means she likes to take notes and she needs to read it in front of her to understand. She's not a, um, sapphire who if, if I drew a picture of it with bright colors, she'd be like, oh, I totally understand. She needs to read it. That's how her brain works. So if I'm working with people that are emeralds, they, um, then you know how to you know how to speak to them and how to motivate them and help them because you know that they're, they're an emerald. Whereas if they're a sapphire, they just want to have fun. So if you come at them with all these facts, they're going to be like, this is not for me because this is way too hard and I just want to have fun. So with sapphires, you have to make it really fun. You have to have fun, but teach them too. So that's why the gems are important because it's going to be important for us to teach you, but it's also going to be important for you to be able to relate to your customers. You're going to be able to start seeing as you're talking to people, oh, this one's a pearl, this one's a ruby, and you'll know how to motivate them. Um, it is a Danny Johnson thing. So if you guys want to learn more about it, if you search Danny Johnson, I think she has a book or a training on it and it goes in, in depth more. So just a little bit on social media. I do not want you guys to feel overwhelmed on social media. If you guys are um, already posting on social media right now, awesome. If you're not, awesome. If you cannot post only the morning and night, that's fine. If you can only post middle of the day, that's fine. There's no right time to post. There's no perfect amount of times to post. The truth is, is that you just have to be you and share about you. So I like to say to new coaches that what I want you to do is just think of who you are. And I don't mean just your mom and what you do for work. What do you really like? So people still to this day will message me about stuff about Nutella because they know that during my pregnancy, I really liked Nutella. So Nutella is part of my brand, which is kind of funny, but people know that I like Nutella, that I'm into fitness, that I'm in, I'm postpartum right now. And I'm into postpartum fitness, that I'm dairy and gluten free. They know that I, um, I'm into holistic health. They know that, you know, it's kind of like those things that if you were out to dinner with friends and you had a glass of wine, it's like the thing that it's like, oh, don't say anything about that to this person because then they're not going to shut up about this. It's like the rant, the thing that you're passionate about, the thing that you love. Um, you know, those are the things. So besides being a coach, because yes, health and fitness are things you're going to share about, but not with your Shakeology cup right there and not with saying what you're doing. There's something called curiosity marketing. So you're just mainly showing that you're doing this and talking about how you're feeling and the results you're getting and how great it is. But at the end of the day, Everybody wants to know more about you because the, this market is not saturated. There are so many people that are um, struggling with diabetes and that are overweight and really need health and fitness in their life. There's no way this market is ever going to be so oversaturated. Um, but there are things that make you stand out different than someone else. For instance, my mom and I have completely different markets. She's going to be able to get people to join that are into doing, um, D, D, what is it called? DIY in the house. She's into decorating and stuff. I'm not. So when she talks about it, she's going to get all these people that are like, if I were to join anything, I'd join that with Tracy because I like that kind of stuff. And Lindsay's over there talking about how she's a hot mess or whatever, you know, like they're going to be attracted to you. Not because you're a beach body coach, not because you're at your goal weight, not because you're drinking Shakeology. They're going to be attracted to you because you're not giving up because you're consistent, because you're showing up every day, and because you relate to them in some way. Maybe like my mom, she's a grandma. Grandmas are going to relate to her. People that have grandchildren, they're not going to relate to me. They're going to want my mom to coach them over me because I don't understand what their life is like, right? And there's going to be people like my husband is a coach, but there's women that go he talks to and then they're like, would you mind connecting me to your wife for this? Because they feel more comfortable with the female. There's going to be people that are like that. Like Devin, one of her things is she loves craft beer. There's going to be people that we're in a baby group together because we know each other because we're both in, we both had our babies around the same time. So we were in a mom's group together. There's going to be people that like both of us, but join Devin because they love craft beer too. And she talked about craft beer. And so they have little side conversations. It's those side connections and those other things that connect you. So throughout the day, don't make it stressful. If you have time to 
um, post, just sit down and be like, what can I post about right now? Maybe you're about to take your vitamin that you believe in so much. It's a probiotic or whatever it is. Maybe you're about to eat something that's your favorite food. Maybe you're about to cook and bake and you love baking. Maybe you are about to get into your car and your car is like your passion. What are these things? So you just want to post. Yes, you want to show that you're working out. Yes, you want to show that you're eating healthy. Yes, you want people to know that you're a coach, but you're more talking about it as like, I'm at a party and I'm having so much fun opposed to in people's face. It's going to feel weird at first, but over time it'll get easier. So right now we just want you to start posting a little bit here and there. I will share some um, images in here tonight, kind of guiding you on what to post, but don't let it cloud your vision. Just know that you want to post a couple times a day and you want to be talking about things that other people would want to talk about. People like to interact too. Like if you were to say, I'm going to Mexico and I am getting my nails done. Do you like this pattern or this pattern? People are going to want to tell you what they like. Or, hey, does anyone have recommendations for this? But then also giving recommendations. So those are things, like, they want to see that you're a real person, too, is basically it. Don't come out just trying, don't think you need to come out and all of a sudden you know everything. A coach doesn't know everything. A coach is just on their journey. And people are going to actually be inspired by you because you're on your journey, not because you're where you're going. So I like to say this. People are going to join you as a customer or as a coach, not because of where you're at, not because of where you're at in your fitness journey, and not because of where you're at as a coach. They don't care that you're a new coach. They don't. They don't care if you're at your goal weight. They don't. They want to join you because of where you're going and how excited you are to get there. They want to join you because you show that the journey is fun and they connect to you through it and they know that you're saying, listen, I just started, but I know that the sky is the limit and I'm going there. So who's going with me because I am pumped and that's what I'm doing. They're going to join that person more than the person who's like meek about it, right? Or maybe not, doesn't seem excited. Like, I don't want to pressure anybody, but they're going to be like, okay, well, you know, if I'm more excited about something I invite you to, Let's say I'm having a team party. If I'm like, you guys got to be there. This is crazy. If you're not there, you are going to miss out so much. And I talk about it all the time. You're going to want to come to the party. But if I just put a post up and I say, hey, team party this day, some of you are going to want to go because you don't want to miss out. But others are going to be like, there's not that fear of missing out. There's not that, you know, I want to do what she's doing. And for sure, Kristen in this group actually joined me as a coach because she messaged me and she said, what are you doing? Is it possible that I could do what you're doing? Because you're so happy. What are you doing? And that's kind of what it is. You guys just want to show that this is helping. Of course, you need to show your struggles too, you know, but, um, but you just want to show that to, to everybody. So you'll get more comfortable with that. We're going to do like weekly audits where we look at your page and kind of look and see at how your posts are going. Um, the last the other thing that I want to point out, there's two things, and then we're going to go ahead and wrap it up because Carly's going to go live later, like I said, and talk to you about our free group that's on Monday. We have a free group coming up on Monday. Um, I'll just tell you what it is, mom, since you're on, if, in case you want to start thinking about it. I'm doing, and Carly said she might help. She has another group going on, so it might just be me. Carly might be doing it too. It's a Nutrition 101 group, and I'm not doing any posts. I'm literally just going live a few minutes every day and sharing about a nutrition goal for the day. Day, and everybody's going to be do that goal. So one day it's going to be a water challenge. The next day it's going to be, you know, eating veggies at every meal. The next day it's going to be something different. So it's going to be a nutrition 101 group. It's open to everyone. Invite everybody. And when people say yes, ask them if they have any friends that can join and become Facebook friends with them. This is where we're building this huge funnel of people that just like us, trust us. They want to join what we're doing. It's free. We're giving them free value. And this is where some of your first sales are going to come from. So you want to ask a lot of people. You want to talk about it on social media like I'm talking about it right now. So maybe after you listen to this call, you go on your thing and you show a picture of you excited or some other image that's catching. And you say, I'm so excited because I just learned that our team is hosting a brand new exclusive nutrition 101 five-day group 
that is going to be awesome. It's going to be short little live videos with sh daily challenges. There's going to be a prize at the end and you're going to learn nutrition 101 in five quick days. And I guarantee people see results. I can't wait to do it. If anybody wants to join me, I can bring some friends in. Let me know. It can be as simple as that. And that's what you guys really want it to be. You don't want it to sound like an advertisement. It doesn't need to be perfect. So um, just to let you guys know that. So what I want to tell you really quick is about customer orders. One thing that you need to know is that when you have someone that's going to purchase from you, Beachbody is very loyal. So before someone purchases from you, you always have to say, do you have a coach? And if they do, you want to ask them, are you committed to that coach or do you want to switch to me? Um, but typically they don't, but if they do, and they, they've purchased from Beachbody before they have a coach, they're automatically put with someone you want to switch them to you before you make the purchase. Because if they switch, if they don't switch, then they're going to stay under that other person, even if they go to your page. So when you are doing the, um, what do I want to say? When you are getting so you have this conversation, you ask tons of questions, you learn about them, you recommend, then they're like, okay, so after you recommend, it's good to send them a video. I like to go to YouTube and just search Shakeology if that's what I'm talking about, or Daily Sunshine, or T25, whatever I think I want to show them. Um, let them watch the video, tell them I'm going to check in on them the next day to see what they liked about the video, check in on them the next day like I said I would, and then I always ask them if they say, oh yeah, it seemed cool, or yeah, you know, I don't know. It might be something I want to do. I always ask them on a scale of one to 10, one being not at all, 10 being you're ready right now. Where are you in this? Anything less than a 10, you're going to ask them why. They're going to say, well, I'm an eight because of money and because I just don't know if I can follow through. And when people say that, basically it's time for you to breathe that belief in them. You know what? I understand how you feel. I used to feel that same way. Feel felt found is what it's called. I understand how you feel. I used to feel that same way. But what I found was it, with these accountability groups and these programs and checking off the calendar and all of that, you have more follow through and chances of being successful than ever before. There's a money back guarantee. I know you're going to love this and I know you're going to do great. Yes, you might have a day you mess up, but we all do because we're human. I totally believe you could do this. So if that's what's holding you back, I would say, you know, if it were me, I would just say, jump in and try. And that's how you talk to them about it. And then they're going to say, okay, well, it's just the money. And you can say, all right, well, you know, there is a way to get a discount. If you're interested to hear about discount opportunity, I'm happy to share that with you. Um, and just kind of talk it out with them. So you ask that one to 10 question after they've told you they like your recommendation or they don't, after you've found a recommendation they like, you do that one to 10 question, anything less than 10, you're going feel felt found with. Okay. Ah, you know, I think it's great. I just don't know if I have enough time. You know what? I completely understand how you feel. I felt the same way. But what I can tell you is that I found that whatever I decide to make time for, I'll have time for. If I'm going to make time for the dishes, the dishes are going to get done. If I have to stay up late because I don't want my kitchen dirty in the morning, I'll stay up late to clean my kitchen. So why can't I stay up late to take care of me? And you talk to them just like that because then it makes the wheels turn and they understand. And that's not pushy, you guys. It's not pushy. Some of you are going to feel like it's pushy. If you do, then practice saying it in our group so that we can help you with the, the verbiage. Okay. And then it'll make you feel more comfortable, but people are going to join you because you make them think people are going to join you because you motivate them and you inspire them. People also, what you need to know is that you're going to hear no a lot and because it takes about four to six exposures for people to jump in. The first few times you ask someone, people aren't going to be ready. They're waiting to see if you're really going to stick to this. They're waiting to see your results. They're waiting to see what, what you love, if you're loving this, if you're going to stick to it. And then when you show your transformation after this first program that you do, because I'm hoping everyone's committed to a program right now, you've taken your before pictures and you're committed to it and you're going to share your after pictures or your four four week progress pictures or your three week progress pictures coming up, those transformation pictures are what pull people in. No, you don't have to be in a sports bra. You can, it can be a non-scale victory that you're showing that your pants are one size too big. 
You know, it can be anything. You can get creative and share it the way you would share it. You don't need to share it how I would share it or anyone else. But showing that you're happy and you're getting res those results, all those people you've been asking and you've been talking to for a couple months, they start coming around. We often say that what you see in your business right now is a product of three months ago. So whatever was going on a few months ago, that's what you are going to see the success of. Those, if you weren't talking to people, I saw a lull in my business actually. For the first time in three and a half years, I did not hit success club in November. And I took it really hard. But then I realized, what was I doing three months ago? Well, three months prior to that, I had a newborn that was screaming days on end and I wasn't inviting anyone. I was barely even checking in on social media. In fact, I think I was just standing in my living room crying most of the time and making posts about that. Of course I wasn't going to hit success club in November because I'm a product and what's going on in my business is a direct reflection of what I was doing a few months ago because it takes people time to watch you. It takes people time to trust you. It takes people time to like you. They need to know you, like you, trust you before they join you. So just keep that conversation going. Even if the answer is no, don't look at it as a no and feel negative. Look at it and say, you know what? This is an opportunity to get to know that person better, to make this not about business, to ask them more about their family, to comment on their stuff, to make them see that I'm just here for them and they'll join me in a few months, I'm sure. And that's how you want to look at it. So when you're ready to... Um, make a sale, right? So you're ready, somebody's ready. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to teambeachbody.com because that is where you can do this from. You're going to sign in to your online office. And then you are going to go to coach up here on the right hand side. And then in this little toolbar, these little things pop up. So I'm at coach. This is where I would go to my online office. I'm gonna go there in just a second, but this is share a cart, okay? So you're gonna click on share a cart and you're gonna get that person's email and what you're gonna do is you're gonna put their email in. You're gonna be able to say if you're enrolling them as a coach or as a customer and then you get to directly pick exactly the challenge pack or what they're purchasing and send it to them in an email in their cart and all they have to do is finish paying for it. So that is like the easiest way is to go to share a cart and do this. Now, if you're on your iPad or your phone and you go to this and once you click on share a cart at the bottom, you can click that little like arrow that points up and a lot and a bunch of options will pop up and you can hit add to home screen and it will add this website to your home screen in a little app form so that when you do need to send this to someone, you don't need to go teambeachbody.com, share a cart. You can just click on that. So you, what you would do is when you're at that site, you're going to go to the little arrow sign. You're going to click that. A bunch of options are going to come up like save image and things like that at the bottom, the little squares. You're going to pick add to home screen and then you can name it share a cart and it'll go on. So for some reason, it's not pulling up right now. But basically what you're going to have is their email. You're going to put their email in, their name. It's going to say you have you have permission, you're gonna click yes, and then it's gonna say, what do you wanna add? You're gonna click challenge packs, annual all access challenge pack, and it's gonna ask you their flavor of Shakeology too. So if you're using ShareCart, make sure that you know the person's Shakeology flavor. Shakeology's come in a bag, or it also comes daily sunshine comes in a challenge pack as well as the performance stack. The Shakeology and the daily sunshine comes in a bag of 30 servings, or it comes in a box of 24 servings. So just make sure when you're telling people that if do they want a box with packets or do they want a bag, they get a week more out of the bag because of the packaging, but it's the same price. Um, but some people do want to do the, the packets because they're more convenient in the beginning and that's fine. Um, so whenever you send someone a share cart, I always tell them, let me know when you complete this order so that I can make sure in my online office that it went, sh that it went through okay. And that's true, but also it puts that sense of, okay, I need to complete this in their head. Because how many times does someone send you an email and then you forget and a week later you're like, oh, I meant to do that, right? So um, right here you can do new coach enrollment or new enrollment. It asks the email address. You can pick coach or customer. Yes, I have permission and then continue and you can add to the cart whatever you want. So that is one way to do the... Um, the orders. 
Another way that you can do the orders is to do a, I'm looking for something really quick, hold on. It's called the um, Coach Link Generator. And it's a website, there it is. It's a website, it's tbbcoach411.com slash coach underscore link underscore generator underscore us slash. I can put this in our page so that you guys can find that. But basically you go there and let's say that you don't want to send someone the email. They just want the link to order. You don't just send them to your website. They're going to get lost. You come in here, you put your coach ID in here. So I'll put 248821. I hit enter or I hit submit. Now I can say, okay, what they wanted was they wanted a challenge pack and they want the three day refresh challenge pack in Shakeology. I can highlight this link and you can see my coach ID is right there. And this link will take them directly to my website with my link with um, the exact thing that they want to order, but then they choose the Shakeology flavor from there. So those are the two different ways. And you can do the same thing with this coach link generator, make it a home page on your on your um, a home screen as well. So the last thing that I wanted to talk about is pointing out um, a couple things in your online office and then that'll be it. And then Carly will be going live with a couple things. Now it's a lot of information today and tonight because it's the beginning, but just take it as what you can, whatever you don't understand, push out of your head and know that you're going to get it later. Like it's all going to make sense and it's going to slow down. So in the coach online office, so when you go to your coach online office, you'd go, you sign in, you hit coach. So teambeachbody.com is where your online office is. Beachbodycoach.com is where other people go to look at websites. So teambeachbody.com is your online office. So you go to coach and then coach office. And just a couple important things to look at here. It's having me sign in again. A couple important things to look at here are, when you come in here, you will see your coach ID right here. There's your coach ID and you can see your success club points over here. So it's a new month. We're at zero right now. Down here on your left, you're going to see if you have any new customer orders for the week. Beachbody, we get paid on Thursday mornings. So every Thursday morning, this will be clear and then it goes to Wednesday night and then every Thursday morning it clears again. So we have five, I have five new customer orders, two new customers. You want to go and you'll be able to see who these people are and you can send an email directly from here if you don't know them. Once you're Emerald Rank, you can do that. Don't even worry about understanding it right now because we'll talk about that when you get there. You can see new coaches in your organization. When you guys see people here, it does not mean that they're your personally sponsored coach. It means that let's say that I just enrolled my mom and my mom's on my right leg. I just enrolled her. Then I enroll someone else. It's going to tell her she has a new coach in her organization. It basically means someone else is on that leg. It does not mean she enrolled a coach. It does not mean that she has someone now that is adding to her rank advancement. It's just someone that's adding to her volume, which might be confusing, but you'll understand it soon. Um, and then it also shows anybody that changed, um, rank for the week. So it'll tell you that. The important things to know in this is that you go to monitor my business. And from here, you can look at your personal or your customer orders here and search customers. If someone says that they made a purchase, typically it's going to be on the page I just showed you, but you can also look here. Um, earnings and commissions. When you click here, it'll show you what you'll be getting paid for the next week. So that's important. The other important thing is my EFT management. This is where you get your um, direct deposit. So you'll fill that out with your bank information for your direct deposit. And then under downline, your preferred placement. This, you 
want to do right away, you want to set it to either left or right, nothing else. So if you look, you'll want your coach ID here, and then you'll either choose left or right, and it will always either be left or right, and then you click save. So if I just enrolled my mom and she was on the right, once it shows her in my office, I'm gonna come back in here and I'm gonna subvert, manually switch it to the other side. And I'm gonna do that strategically till I hit emerald, which is one coach on each leg. From there, I'm gonna strategically do that until I hit diamond, and then it changes a little bit. You guys don't need to know about that now because that's for another day, but for now, just know that you wanna choose either left or right, save it so that it goes there. The last little part is that you guys have all this training over here. So I really want you to know that as a new coach, you're going to have a lot of questions. You can ask us at any time. You can ask in the group. But what I want you to know is that also Google really helps. If you have a question, Google, like for me, if I'm looking for the coach generator, I Google it sometimes, or the coach switch form, I Google it. Um, and then also there's all of this training here. There's a training library which is my favorite one to go to. And I really recommend you guys just when you have extra time, which might not be this month because you're learning the new coach group and that's fine, but you might have extra time here and there to just listen to a training while you're doing dishes or something. There's a lot of training that just kind of helps you understand the business model a little bit more, um, understand challenge groups. There's a challenge group training. There is a challenge pack training. There's a business tracking training, compensation, um, event workshops, expanding your network. There's so much finding and attracting the right customers for you. So we're going to teach you, but we can only teach you so much. At the end of the day, you really want to make sure that you're doing these extra trainings that, um, to learn too, an inviting training. That's going to be great for everyone. I would recommend everybody doing that one immediately. Um, so onboarding new coaches, there's just so many different ones. Um, for sure, just if you're like, I need to learn something today, go here, see if you can find the answer. And then if you're like, you know, I'm really feeling scared about inviting, then do that. I really don't know how to follow up with people. Okay, then do the following up training. So there's all those trainings um, that you guys can use at any time. So from there, just really quickly, the last things. Every Monday, we will have a call. Next Monday, we have an all-team call. Amanda Huber will be hosting it on a topic. Um, the next Monday is the third Monday of the month. We will not, hold on. Do we have a call the third Monday of the month? Let me look. We have a call the 9th. We have a call the 16th. It'll be a live power hour. I'm doing it with you guys. On the 23rd, we do not have a call because a lot of us will be in Mexico for our free trip um, or just getting back. But the 30th, we will have a call. So our calls are the 9th, the 16th, and the 30th. We have a free group that Carly is going to be telling you about. So stay tuned for her focus and her free group. And um, that's pretty much what I have for you tonight. So I didn't think I was going to go all into it. I thought I was just going to Put, give you something else, but it was just easier for me to go over that. And I think I gave more information that was helpful than normal. So um, if you guys have any questions, just post it below the recording and Carly or myself can go live this week and ask. Just remember that when you're feeling overwhelmed, the best thing to do is not withdraw and think, oh, I just know I'm not good at this. Oh, I guess I, I don't want to ask this question because I feel stupid. Oh, I guess maybe this isn't for me. The best thing for you to do is step up and say, this is where I'm struggling because I guarantee we all struggled with it before and we can just share how we overcame it. The most successful coaches are not coaches that don't fail. They're actually coaches that fail all the time. They just learn from it and get up and keep going. So if you're going to be successful, you're going to fail a lot. And so you have to get comfortable failing because then you get uncomfortable figuring it out but then it becomes comfortable and then you fail at something else and it's a big fun failing game, <laughs> but that's how you become successful. So, um, I hope this was helpful and I'm going to stop the recording now and I'll be posting this shortly and I'm going to still talk to my mom. So I'm going to stop the recording. <laughs> Bye.